Hello everyone and welcome back. My name is Elizabeth and I sell cars at Nanaimo Toyota on Vancouver Island in BC. And today we're taking a look at the brand new 2023 Forerunner in the SR5 package. So this is a seven passenger. They are a four liter six cylinder engine. They have 270 horsepower. They can pull 5,000 pounds and they average 13.8 liters per hundred kilometers combined, which is 20 miles per gallon. So today I'm going to go over the exterior, the interior, and answer any questions you guys have. And if you enjoy this video, please feel free to like, subscribe, and follow along as I'll have weekly uploads with lots of new 23 models coming in as well. Let's get started on this 4Runner. Here we go. Alright, so starting with the exterior, this is the Midnight Black Metallic. In the sunlight, it's going to have a really nice metallic sheen with like a little bit of a blue fleck in it. In the front end, we have LED headlamps, fog lamps, and tail lamps in the back. A nice style grill below here. Along the sides, we're gonna have mud and snow tires. These are on a 17 inch alloy wheel. Gonna come equipped with the black running boards. Up top, you've got power adjustable heated mirrors with the blind spot monitors in them as well. This is the smart key system too. So you can see these little divots on the door. Right now I've got the key in my pocket. So if I just touch on this, it locks the whole truck, but it also knows if I'm here and it'll unlock the driver's door. Just gonna double tap to open all doors. It does have nice tinted back windows and roof rails. So if you wanna put crossbars up top, you can. There goes a nice purple runner. <laughs> okay, and then over here um, in the back end, of course that whole back window does slide down, which is such a nice classic uh, look for the Forerunner. I just love that. Also has a 9.6 inch ground clearance, so great height on them, and an 87 liter gas tank. As I mentioned earlier, they do tow 5,000 pounds. So here is your receiver and underneath is where your wiring is there. Spare tire. In the back, the wiper does come down, which it's nice that it's kind of hidden. And you've got the shark fin antenna up top too. So we're gonna go ahead and take a look at the interior. All right, so starting in the back seats here, I just put this up so you can see what it looks like because it is the seven passenger. Otherwise you can release the headrest and pop the whole seat down. You've got a ton of room. That's that privacy cover there. We include your carpet and rubber mats and your receiver. It has a 400 watt outlet and a cigarette style charger there too. I'm gonna put that seat up too so we can see what that looks like. It is a manual hatch, no power hatches on the runners. In the back here, so that's what that looks like with the seat down. And with it up, so it is a soft tex uh, leather interior, which is two-tone with the light and the dark grays. Cup holders in the center, those rubber mats that I mentioned. Uh, USB ports, nice map holders with like a skookum netting. Eight way power adjustable seat with the lumbar support. Again with the rubber mats. Kick off the snow. A bit chilly out there. Nice heavy doors. They definitely feel solid. Everything about this 4Runner feels solid. Got nice soft text leather along the sides here so it's not plastic. Over here we've got your electric mirrors, your uh, lights for the dash, automatic high beams when you have that feature on and your high beams are in the on position they will automatically come on and off with oncoming lights or tail lights. Got that 400 watt for the outlet I showed you in the bed and a windshield de-icer. Power windows, mirrors, locks. Under here you have a lever that pops down so you can actually scope in and out or up and down your steering wheel. 
Taking a look around the cabin. Tons of space. The Forerunner has such great visibility. It's nice and square. Again, soft text leather two tone. We have your US area, your uh, cigarette style charger in there too. Take that out of there. Heated seats. And this button is for your back window. So the whole thing can slide down, which is awesome. Really nice for, I always say, if you've got dogs putting their noses out the back, or if you've got your sunroof either vented or back, it's a nice airflow circulating inside. So those heated seats, it's a nice scroll. It's not just a one, two, on or off kind of a thing. Triptonic, you can change gears manually if you like. You've got your four-wheel drive system for four high and low, nice and easy to change. Down below here, we have a cigarette style charger and a USB port, so you can plug in for Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Nice large lock and glove, wheel locks in there. Here we have your info screen, so if you just hit home, this is what pops up on the screen. So you can uh, pair your phone with Bluetooth, Music, all that, nice and easy to connect. And then music up top here. We have your auto dimming rear view mirror and garage door openers, traction control, A track, downhill assist control, lights for the cabin. And these are the two buttons for your sunroof. One will go full back and the other one will just tilt it in the back. SOS is uh, free for a year. You can call fire truck, ambulance, police, and a stolen vehicle locator. In here we have your sunglasses holder <laughs> up top. Got the uh, lights that come on with your mirror and privacy cover, or not privacy covers, um, sun guards. I love those, especially if you're turning this whole piece sideways. Nice and easy to block extra light hazards there, clock. Over here you have your wipers and your rear wiper too that pops down so it's nice and out of view. These buttons are going to go through your display so right now I just turned off the rear seat reminder just because if you actually don't have kids in the back seat you don't need to have a warning every time you turn off your truck depending on what you want to see on this screen. You can have your digital speedometer, your tire pressure, steering angle, music. That's all nice and adjustable. Um, just easy to change. Safety settings, you've got the lane departure alert, pre-collision system, blind spot monitors, and rear cross traffic alert. So those are all on right now. You can adjust them. Blind spot monitors are what are in your mirrors. So it'll light up whenever a car is coming up behind you. And that's what that looks like there. Sorry, we don't want to look at Kia. And then blind spot monitors, brightness, you can adjust all that. I'm going to leave those all on. And then there's a home button here too. So depending on what you want your home screen to be, you can reset it. So if we want this to be home, I'm just going to press and hold on the home and say, yes, I want that to be home. Down here, we have your lane departure alert and your dynamic cruise control. So if you're drifting over line, it will beep at you. It's not gonna tug you back in the right direction though. It'll just give you a warning. Your cruise control's here, so in to activate, down to set. This button will determine the distance between you and the car in front of you because over 50 or 60 kilometers an hour, it'll stop and go with traffic. You've got volume and presets. Mode will go between your AM, FM, SXM, and Bluetooth. Little talk button on there, say call Elizabeth, and it will give a call. Answering and hanging up phone calls. Nice leather rep steering wheel, which is heated. It's a sneaky button right there below your push button start. So those are on there and we went over these guys. Your e-brake is a kick release. So this is the interior for the SR5 4Runner. 
All right, so what did you guys think of the new 2023 SR5 4Runner? I'd love to hear your thoughts or any of your questions in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video, please feel free to like, subscribe, and follow along as I'll have weekly uploads with lots of new 23 models coming out as well. Until next time, take care.